And today we are here so that we can let the world know no one among us is fighting gender. Yes. Nobody is fighting gender because people have spoken, leaders are saying Meru is a patriarchal society, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they don't embrace women, but I want to state these are women and they have been embraced by the Meru community. Yes. We are highly respected back at home and if anything and for record, it, Meru is the only community among many other communities which has the most learned women. Yes. And they are there, and they are respected. Mm -hmm. So for anyone to hide behind gender, then that would be a very sorry state. And if anybody wants to stand with gender and hide behind women, and they are truly faithful that they want women never to be touched, let them go to Rangata Women Prison and vindicate all the women who are jailed there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because according to me, my understanding is, a criminal is a criminal mm -hmm. irrespective of, of gender. gender. Yes. So, we want that to clearly go to the world that nobody is fighting anybody in terms of gender. Yes. And the community is more than willing to support another woman, even if it's tomorrow. Yes. What we are simply saying the MCAs have come out with a memoranda. The MCAs are the ones who stay in the county assembly day in, day out. And the MCA have given us their concerns. And these concerns are very pertinent. And I want to underscore what the county woman rep stated and what Jane Kiberia stated, yes. that we cannot support nepotism. Yes. Yeah. That is number one. We cannot support gross misconduct, misconduct mm -hmm. and gross incompetence in a public office. Yes. Yes. And incompetence will be proved. We cannot support direct favoritism when it comes to employment and firing yes. of people. Yeah. This is the only county where people have been brought to office Today, you hear the CEC mm -hmm. roads has been fired. Tomorrow, CEC what has been fired. The criteria is not known. And every time there is a replacement, it is a replacement of who is who in the range of the person who is hiring and firing. Mm -hmm. We want the government systems to be respected. Yeah. Yes. The law is very clear yeah. on how one is supposed to be employed and how employment must be terminated. Yes. So I want to call upon the people in the national government. And with a lot of respect, I want to call upon the chair, council of governor, mm -hmm. Madam Anne Moigoro, who we respect so much yes. because this is a leader who is above board. Mm -hmm. She has been in a ministry and she ran it so well. She has been in a county that she is running and she is there for the second term. I want to call upon my sister, Cecilia Baride, Cecilia Barida is a very competent leader, yes. for record. Yes. Mm. And instead of Cecilia and Han supporting our lady, whom we love so much because she's a lady like us, they should have taken a whole year, the previous year, to yeah. take her through tutorials yeah. so that she can know how to govern Meru mm. County. Yes. Now the die is cast, it is in the darkest hour of the night, mm -hmm. and there is no reversing. Will give, she'll be given an opportunity to serve in an, another area where she is more competent and I'm calling upon the Senate. I want to thank them because yesterday the motion went before them and I'm sure they will debate and we want to, to ask them to look at every item, word for word, sentence for sentence, and if they think it is the mayor you, is, uh, um, MCAs who are wrong, the Senate, with its own intelligence, will be able to advise. But we are saying our desire as the Meru community, our desire as the Meru county women, mm -hmm. 
it is to see a peaceful Meru. Yes. Yes. We want the burden of shame removed from our backs. Yes. Yes. We don't want to be in the newspaper every day, day in, day out, for all the wrong reasons. The wrong reasons. We don't want the, our children to be treated in the media every day by drama, theatrics, and abusive language. Yes. Yes. We never teach. I have been a teacher all my life. And children know leaders must be respected. Yes. Yeah. But when they hear an MP being abused, like a small boy, yeah. and this MP is the representative of everybody, because our constitution is clear. 